is Quick Six, week 33, day 165, so pretty close to the end of the year. This would be exactly what the kids see. So the first thing they have to do is add in their um, first and last name. And then they come down and answer each of these questions. So I'm going to put in my name. Um, and I'm just going to answer them. And I can change my mind if I want to. So some of them I'm going to get right. Some of them I'm going to get wrong, as you can see. There's a volume question. Um, I'm going to go with, no, I don't want that one. I'm going to go with this one and a division question so we'll try that evaluating the expression i'm just going to pick that and what kind of triangle and random answers so that we have some wrong and some correct once you hit submit kids can view their score so i can tell here that i got five out of six and um it actually will bring me through and show me which ones i got correct and which ones I had incorrect, just in case um, kids are curious how they did. I'm going to go back to my teacher side and let you see the results of the data that you can see. So back on the teacher side of things, you can view the questions or you can click on responses to see the way that your students have answered the questions. In the summary screen, you can see that there is um, three people that have taken it, and one out of the three people got the answer correct, two out of the three people got the answer correct for number two, and so on. You can also look at the information from the individual point of view, which I like, and it shows you which questions each individual got correct and incorrect and um, you can scroll through and actually look at each of the people that has taken the quiz. But that is not my favorite part. My favorite part is actually using Google Sheets. The Google Sheets part is my favorite. It gives you all of your data that you can use on one sheet, really easy peasy all the kids that have taken it, the answers that they have chosen, and you can use this information to help form math groups, to help form your math instruction, to see whether or not kids are really understanding and holding on to concepts that you've taught throughout the year. I'm super excited about this math spiral review that is graded for you, my favorite, favorite, favorite thing, and I hope you like it too. Have a great night.